Hi everyone, DJ here for Crackberry.com and today we are looking at Playbook App Manager which is basically a browser plugin that allows you to simply and easily sideload apps onto your Playbook. It's as simple as drag and drop. It's perfect for those who don't want to be messing around with command prompts. So uh, this is a way I found um, that makes life so much easier for you to sideload. Like I said, it is a plugin, so you can see here I've already done the search for it. It's called Playbook App Manager. You just do a search in Chrome Web Store, but I also believe it's available for Firefox, um, so you can check that out there as well. There will be instructions, but this demo is for the Chrome browser. So once you have it installed, um, you'll then be using a web interface. Um, which I've, I've bookmarked, so we're going to go ahead and load that right now. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and load it here. Um, it's been developed by a member of our Crackberry forum, so big up to them. Um, so I've loaded it here, you can get the links over on crackberry.com. Um, see, I've got a couple of devices added here via their IP address already. Um, let's just show you how to get that on your playbook. So on your playbook, um, just go into the options on the top right go into security and um, development mode and then turn it on I've already got mine on here um, also requires you to have a password if um, you don't have a password on your playbook it will prompt you to create one so go ahead and do that and uh, once you have development mode turned on if you go back to the home screen and look for this icon here it tells you you're in development mode and you'll be presented with an IP address. Um, for me I'm showing us two because I've also got a USB cable attached to mine um, which is what I use to sideload. I haven't successfully been able to use Wi-Fi to sideload via this um, so I use USB cable um, but you probably only have one if you're going to use Wi-Fi. But I'll just show you how easy it is to add the IP address so I'm going to add my Wi-Fi one on here. So you can have multiple ones added as it says. Um, so add the IP address, click save, and you can see it was added here to my list of devices. Um, this is basically all the devices you want to sideload onto, and you'll just click into them, whichever one you want to sideload onto. So I'm going to click this for my playbook via my USB. Um, if this is uh, the first time you're loading this page in the web session, in the browser session, you'll get this prompt, and you'll just click proceed anyway. Uh, and then you'll be prompted to add your playbook password. Um, so I'll go ahead and add that and log in. If you load this page again without closing or shutting down your browser, um, you won't get that warning prompt. I find it on it's only the first time I load it every browser session. Um, so once you've entered your password, uh, you're presented with all the apps that are actually installed on your playbook um, and you can even can launch and terminate and uninstall right from this web interface um, we'll take a look at that briefly later um, for now we're going to take a look at this corner here and it's basically where you're going to drag and drop your bar files in order to sideload them onto your playbook so um, let's sideload an app maybe two um, so let's get into my bar file folder and see buffer Let's try this. And there we go. Just drag it in there and it will install. It's quite fast. You can see, um, but you can you don't have to do them one by one and wait for that to install. You can add another one to the list and it just gets queued up here. Um, if I wanted to have well, you can keep adding more and it will just install one after the other and show on the left side here, but I'll just do one for now, so I'll just get rid of that. And normally faster than this, it's a, it's a slow day today. Slow day today. Um, but it is normally pretty zippy. There we go, 50. Halfway. Almost there. Almost there. Da, 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 da. But yes, you can see that was, that was very simple. I just had the bar file, dragged it on there and there we go, that's success. Um, and you'll get your logs, you can have a look at your logs here, if you had more than one it will list all the ones that were successful um, or not.
which I haven't had any that have not been successful. And you can also clear those too. Um, uh, but like I said, also here, um, you can launch any of your apps that um, you have installed. So if I just uh, launch, let me see, 9mm here. Launch, take my playbook, and you can see how fast that, that launched. Um, I, can, uh, I can also just as quickly terminate that. And there we go. That is pretty zippy um, at doing that. Um, as far as bar files are concerned, we have um, a lot of people in the forums that have um, collated all the bar files. And remember, people, stick to free Android apps, free ones. Um, but there you go. That's a really, really simple and easy way um, of sideloading apps onto your playbook. Hope you like it. That is Playbook App Manager. Let us know in the comments how you get on. Bye.